In the meantime, there's 93 seconds left in this game. Hawks are still on the power play. Puck is in skates. Canucks come up with it. Horvat for 31. Steals! <laughs> He's matched his career high in game number 47. Well, face us. And here's Bo Horvat. Luke Shen just feeds it back to him. And Horvat slides it down. You're down by two. Canucks fail to clear. Henry for Terry. Hit him in the skate. Bear missed the puck. We're in the final minute. Intercepting in front. Horvat scores. multi-goal games in a row for Bo Horvat. He's got 10 on the year. Perfect position. Look at Bo Horvat. Right there. He knows that diagonal pass is going to go back to the point man. So he's in that lane. Canucks have had all kinds of chances to get it out and they can't. Bouchard to Dreisaitl. Center pass. One timer ripped wide. Pooley Arby. Another chance to clear. And again the Canucks fail. This time Pedersen will turn. Horvat has an empty net. He'll take it home and tuck it in for the one that seals it. 5-2. Bo Horvat completing a four-point night. Pedersen, he takes the hit along the wall to make this play right here on the finish. It's McDavid that finishes him right in front of me, but he finds Horvat in the middle, fights off the check coming back. Ekman Larson comes up with the puck. McKayev speeds in on the left wing. Pollock guides him to the corner. Besser in for the puck, gets it, banks it back to Ekman Larson. Long shot, tipped in! Bo Horvat! Make it 11 tip in goals this year as Horvat gets his 27th and opens the scoring. Tony Tanzi used to be one of the best tippers that I had ever played with or had ever seen, and Bo Horvat this year has just worked on this. Look at that, another one of those tipping down. It's waist high, so don't tip it up. Here's Miller across. Gets a return pass. Sets it up in front. Horvat scores again. Two on the game, eight on the season. Canucks still trail by two with 2.48 to go. And this one, he gets lucky on. Mackenzie Blackwood has this one just slide right through. Tanner Pearson's in the way, and you can see Mackenzie Blackwood as it just squeaked through. Slider. Those were the numbers coming into this game. And the Blue Jackets with an equalizing goal here in this third period. Here's Pullman with a first shot. Tipped in! Got through the goaltender. And it's Bo Horvat who's celebrating as if he's the guy who got a piece of it. For Horvat, his second of the game, and the Canucks have gone back on top with a much-needed goal. As we had just seen. And again, it's a face-off. And you can see there's a face-off. Bo Horvat wins it back through his skates. And this long shot off a couple of bodies, hits Bo in the shin pads and goes in. That's the key to this goal, win that face off. And you could see Bo was kind of scrambled and then he kicked it back and then goes to the net and is rewarded with an ugly one, if you want to call it that up. I think he's had three different defense partners on this shift. Now a lead pass as Mikheyev was open at center. Didn't get through, but Horvat's open. Cutting in, Bo Horvat scores! Everything he touches turns to gold. Bo Horvat, second of the night, 26th of the year. It's getting trickier because he's using his hands in front of the body. It's hard for the goaltender to reach. And you can see him lean on his front foot and then the sticks in front of him, off the post and in. Waiting for the pass, perfect timing, head up, post and in, and you can see Bo Horvat. Round for Connor Garland, lets it go to Ekman Larson. Round to the other side, Myers. Garland behind the goal, checked. 
there, but he comes up with the puck. Garland centers. Horvat scores! Bo Horvat with his second of the game. Another multi-goal effort for the captain. And Vancouver has its first lead. Oh, what a move by Connor Garland. Here's Connor Garland. Spin, spin, spin. Steal the puck. Hard pass, and Bo Horvat gets position in front. Body position. Bo Horvat just get body position in front. Face the puck. Connor Garland face the puck stick on the ice. Boom. Pass for Hughes was out of his reach, and the puck slides down into the Vancouver zone. Here's a chance for Horvat to break in. Let's go with the shot. He scores. Horvat posted in, and the Canucks have their third goal with Bo Horvat. Potting number 29 of the year. You would think David Riddick would like to have this one back. Top of the circles, short side. That's a great shot. You can hear the ping of the post, crossbar down, but not just inside the post. A little bit of room, short side. And when Hughes. I wonder whether Costin is tailor made for. Potential postseason series. Here's Connor Garland protecting and dishing out to Meyer. Snapshot wide. Rebound for that. Tucks it home. And Vancouver, it's first lead of the night, three to two. Horvath's 23rd. On this one here, it's the four check once again. And it's not a real hard shot that eventually will be taken from the blue line. Garland's able to work this puck out. He gives it. It's just a quick little one timer snapshot that caroms hard off the back wall. And you're going to see Nugent Hopkins has him. Nope, he doesn't have him as he tucks that one in. I don't think he expected that puck to carry him so aggressively off the back wall, but that's why you stick around. Chops it in behind for Miller. Got away from him. Puck played to the blue line. Horvat kept it in with a shot down. Oh, Lazar made a chance with a chance on goal. And got that shot away from point blank range, but couldn't tuck underneath Markstrom. He got the pad down to make the save. Long shot for the pass. Oh, tipped in front. Ricocheted off traffic. I think Horvat maybe got a stick on it. Canucks get an early goal in Calgary to make it one nothing. The Canucks had two really good scoring chances. This was the first one by Lazar. A great save by Markson. Now watch Horvat just sort of sneak in behind coverage. Lindholm's right there, but he doesn't take the stick of Horvat, and his hot scoring continues. Beautiful redirection. Stillman takes a look. Rich Swan blocked in front. Where's the puck? It's in the equipment of Niels Hoagland, and now. It's Dropped it down, tried to go blind backhand pass for Horvat. That didn't work. Stillman. Wrist one. Tip. Horvat scores on the rebound. Number 20. Hoaglander tipped it on goal, and the captain was right there to make it a one goal game. Here's a chip along the boards. Tip by Hoaglander, and Bo Horvat backs up to get position. Horvat. Using his back. Edmondson is on the other side. Horvat has position and gets it up and over Sam Montable. Off season after yeah. a great season in which he put up a career high 57 points, 15 more in 20 playoff games. There's a long shot in. That one was tipped in front, I think, by Bo Horvat. And he might have his 16th of the year on the redirect to tie the game at two. Long shot from the point. What is he, three feet outside the crease? Trying for the screen and trying for the tip in. Look at that, he's got Taze in behind him, gets the stick on it, brings it back, perfect position. And there's the tip, and Fransos can't find it. Taze tried to get the stick. Quite the journey for Spencer Martin. Had the opportunity to chat with him about it earlier today as the Canucks are on the board. Guess who tipped it? It's Bo Horvat. Of course, his 22nd. There's Bo Horvat. Wins the faceoff, and now he's right in the middle. Perfect position, and tip it down. And that's Bo Horvat, his specialty. Win the faceoff, and then go to the net. And the shot by Quinn Hughes, 69 miles an hour. And it gets tipped down and by Connor Hellebuck. And uh, Hellebuck was looking for the shutout, Scott. Shutout, <laughs> shutout. And he doesn't get it. Little give and go in the slot, and Bo Horvat pulled the trigger but missed the net. 
Brock Besser continuing on this line. And here's another chance for that. Steelers! He buried that one for goal number 15. And the Canucks captain has tied the game at two. Completely clear it. Here's Bo Horvat, the snapshot right then. Look at Logan Thompson's reaction. There was a stick in there, distracted him. Across to Pedersen, back to Horvat, tips it to Hughes. Miller, back to Hughes, got it through to Pedersen somehow. Puts it in front, tipped in by Horvat. There's number 18. The Canuck captain on the power play, and Vancouver's tied the game in one. And instead of being able to double team Patterson that the Coyotes have been trying to do, he's all by himself. He's got time to make that play. And then Bo Horvat just tips it through to Melka. Melka has that one go five hole. And Bo Horvat, who had a, his longest drought of the season going. But Hughes got that shot through. Rebound into the corner, Connor Garland. Gets it loose, it'll be kicked back to Shin, a shot scored! Tipped in front, and the Canucks have the icebreaker, and it's Bo Horvat again! Well, what a start to this season for Bo Horvat, and you know, you always say, you go to the net, go to the hard areas, good things are gonna happen. There's the Horvat family standing up and down, but you win the draw, get to the front of the net, and there's the little battle. From down low, Garland, Gets it up high, and then Bo Horvat as he's done. But 13 goals now in 15 games as Luke Shen gets that one through. The little battle there in front by... Canucks were going to get the puck back. Gergensen turns in the corner. And now Asplund able to shoot it past Pedersen and down the ice. Besser, nice pass. Horvat scores! Bo Horvat has another one. Sin in alone on the power play, and the Canucks lead 5-2. Uh, Craig Anderson, I, the Sabres play in Ottawa tomorrow. You can see the Sabres are making a change. When you're changing your penalty killers with the other team with the puck, that's never a good strategy. And here you can see the Sabres coming off the bench. The long change in the second period. Into the middle, Horvat, and off the goal stick of John Gibson, who reached out to steer that one wide. Miller to Horvath, fights off the check, gets the puck to Pedersen, back to Hughes, long slap shot, tipped in! Does the captain have another one? The beat goes on for Bo Horvath, the Canucks tie it on the power play. Canucks gain the blue line, get control, and Bo Horvath does a nice job here, fights off the check and then goes right to the middle. And the shot tipped by Bo Horvat past John Gibson. A good hand eye. That's about 12 inches, foot off the ice, maybe a little more. And here's Bo Horvat. Look at the way he angles that stick. Gibson's in pretty good position. Demko off the boards, and here comes Bo Horvat through center. Pass to Pearson. Tanner Pearson, score! Horvat jammed it in as they wound up doing a little give and go inside the blue line. Pearson with the backhand centering pass, and Horvat with his fourth goal in three games ties it at one. Play by Thatcher Demko to start it. Tanner Pearson, wide. Horvat able to get away yeah. from Kalen Addison. Or was that Matt Dumba? Yeah, you? it's Matt Dumba. And you can see Horvat goes right by Matt Dumba, and Matt Dumba breaks his stick after he... Now he bodies half away, freeing up the puck for Burroughs. And the Canucks bring it ahead. Pearson banks one to Besser. Back in front, Pearson! Stop, rebound, Horvat scores! Pearson's shot was stopped, but Bo Horvat put home the rebound, and off the rush, the Canucks have tied the game at two. And that's what you want with your forwards. If you're in control, go to the net. Here's Tanner Pearson, chip Besser back to Pearson, go to the net. And there's Bo Horvat, where is he going? He's going right to the net. Darcy Kemper with a good blocker save on Tanner Pearson, but Bo Horvat's right there, and you can see Connor Sheary, who's coming back with Horvat, doesn't have a stick. Here he comes in on Ekman Larson, Paling, puck just got away. Now he tries to wrap around and put it right through the crease. Canucks play the quick up. Here's Horvat in. He's got Miller in front. Bo Horvat shoots, scores! <laughs> Oh,
sounded like post or bar and in. And here's the quick up. And Bo Horvat. Do you think Tristan Jari thought he was going to throw it across? I think when he Because he really did get deep, and then Bo Horvat beat some high glove side. And not really. Line pass by Hoaglander to Horvat, who had a great chance for a fifth thing Super Bowl. Now he gets another one to Miller. Deeds Horvat scores in the final second of the period. G.G. Miller with a dipsy doodle in front. Set it up for Horvat, who's got his 17th, and it's 5 0. But here's the Vegas Golden Knights. Look at them. There goes four of them flying the zone, and now it's a two on O with JT Miller and Bo Horvat. And this time, as you said, the dying seconds. Look at JT Miller. He gets the goaltender to freeze, and that leaves Bo Horvat wide open with half the net on his forehand. Beautiful. And the puck ricochets out to center. Miller back in on the left point. Turns to get away from Mayfield. Feeds back to Pedersen. Islanders got a piece of it, but the pass still got through. Now Pedersen, dangerous pass. Miller able to keep it in. In front, Horvat scores! The captain with his ninth multi-goal game of the season. Well, Horvat appreciates that one. A little saucer pass. Third power play of the game for the Canucks. They're 0 for 2. With a Dawson Mercer shorthanded goal. Surrender to Hughes to Miller. In front, Horvath scores! Goal number seven for the Canucks captain, and Vancouver's on the board. Bull Horvath kicks it back, and the Canucks are in control. Quinn Hughes. Cross, JT Miller to Bo Horvat and through the screen beats Mackenzie Blackwood short side. Draw back. High bumper spot. And the screen in front. Cup still loose. Myers tried to kick it free. Now he makes a play up the middle. And out comes Bo Horvat. Two on one with Pedersen. Pedersen in on the left wing. Elias Pedersen, Bo Horvat scores! Beautiful pass and a one-time finish. And shorthanded, the Canucks open the scoring in Columbus. Then fed a perfect pass across to Bo Horvat. Horvat, rolling puck, gives it to Pedersen. Good, smart play. And look at Pedersen, wait, 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 and then Bo Horvat gets the feed in position and the stick ready. Feed in position, stick ready. And so that pass right in the groove. And Horvat, no problem one-timing it. First shot of the game for San Jose. Canucks break out three on two. Horvat to Besser into the middle. McKayev, his shot blocked. And now Horvat scores from the side. Ferraro blocked the initial shot, but Horvat there on the back end. He's got number 25, and the Canucks have a one nothing lead. Mario Ferraro blocks his shot right in the middle. McKayev shoots Ferraro, but you can see it's off a couple of skates right to Bo Horvat, who has been Johnny on the spot the entire season. Look at Bo Horvat. He's got it on the backhand, gets it up and over the goaltender. Off a couple of skates, goes right to Bo Horvat. Into the final minute of the first period. Ottawa leading one to nothing. Pod Coles in centers. Here's Rathbone. Bear. Wrist shot. Blocker save. Horvat scores on the rebound. Bo Horvat with his 11th of the season as he popped it home on the backhand and in the final minute of the first period the Canucks have tied the game at one. Well the Canucks do a good job keeping the puck in at the blue line. Here to pounce on it and you can see here's the long wrist shot by Ethan Bear. Sam Talbot got it with the blocker but he thought it was going to go to the corner and instead it just drops right down. Here's the shot. And you can see Cam Talbot's thinking, okay, it's off my blocker to the corner. And Shot it high. Pedersen back to Hughes. Final minute now. Miller. Hughes shoots. Tipped in. Bo Horvat. Second of the game for the Canuck captain. 19th of the year. Yeah. And the Canucks at 4.09 of overtime win it 3-2. Puck goes back to Quinn Hughes, and now he gets in the middle. This is a good play by JT Miller. Get in the middle, and look at that hand-eye. Bo Horvat gets it back the other way. 
screen, 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 and then follow. And Bo Horvat off the inside of the shaft of the stick makes enough contact to bring it back the other way. Horvat's sixth multi-goal effort of the season. That's more than anyone in the NHL. And how many has he had on deflections? We had that graphic earlier.